I'm away in the van and I thought that today I would show you kind of my morning routine, although I don't really have a set routine when I'm in the van, but this is what I am doing this morning. Good morning, welcome to the new van. I've had it for quite a while now actually, it's been about three weeks or so. Um, I've basically been living in it, to be honest, <laughs> since I got it because because of the house renovations and things, I've not I've no bed or anything in the house anymore. And so I just, I'll show you what I've done, but I've dragged my mattress in here and I've just kind of been living in it, like on my drive or whatever. It's been a bit crazy with the rain. We've had a lot of rain in England <laughs> the last few weeks. And you can imagine, like, because there's no um, insulation or anything, it is ridiculous when it rains. It's so loud. I've spent many a uh, three o'clock in the morning just listening <laughs> to this rain never been able to get back to sleep but i'm so excited for having this van i'm actually away at the moment um it's it's what time is it it's half past six in the morning um and i am freezing <laughs> i've got my door open i show my i haven't i didn't park up anywhere wonderful last night i'll show you my park up actually it's not too bad um i've just got a view of a fence out there which is fine i am away for the weekend i'm actually um visiting a friend i bought let me show you with me i've got some uh insulation stuff that i am potentially gonna start insulated the van this weekend or at least take the bulkhead out at the front um so yeah i'm away like visiting a friend who's gonna help me do that this weekend which is exciting i think for now i am gonna do i want to go to the gym <laughs> i don't know whether i can be bothered to go to the gym i think i will i think i stick my gym stuff on go do a bit of a workout have a shower Oh shit, I've been awake since like five o'clock. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm being lazy. I'm being lazy. I'll go to the gym and then I'll sort of, I'll show you what I've got in the van. It's basically the whole wet van is taken up by the mattress in all honesty, but it's fine, it's nice and comfy. <laughs> oh. gym i don't know whether i'm close to a gym i'm a member of um pure gyms oh, i can't find which way these go <laughs> um yeah anyway i'm a member of pure gyms and my membership allows me to use any pure gym um around the country so hopefully i'm near one Oh, love to see. This was my spot. It's alright. I was going to park in that pub car park, but there was um, a gate on it, so I didn't know whether it would be locked in the morning. And I've just recently had an experience where I got locked in a pub car park. Look at this issue I had. I went to go to sleep last night, or get in the back of the van, and I realised I had three big boxes just <laughs> laid back there with all my like some of my insulation stuff so i had to cram some of it in the front let's move some of this out of the way oh my goodness oh. right let's see whoa you're a bit close <laughs> let's see if there is a gym nearby. Oh, okay. Pure gym. Oh, there's one just here. I think this is the closest. Rope walk, shopping centre. Where's this? Nuneaton. Oh, nine minutes drive. That'll do. Okay, let's go. On the way, I'm going to have to try and dry my trainers because it's a bit wet because I washed them because we were at Silverstone last weekend. Was it last weekend? I can't remember. For the British Grand Prix. 
and I got very, very muddy. It rained a lot. It was an amazing weekend though, absolutely amazing. I don't understand where to go. Apparently, the gym is here. Oh no, it's a height barrier, can I fit through? Two meters, I don't think I can fit through two meters. Apparently I can. Should we just try it? Ooh, let's just see what happens. It's gonna be tight. Mm. Oh, I'm hitting the roof. I think I just about fit. Do I have to pay for parking? I hope I don't. Okay, honestly, I don't fit. <laughs> I was like, there's barriers all the way along and everyone I went under, I was scraping a little bit. I asked some guys, there were some two men at the entrance and I was about, as I was about to go under the first one, I was like, do I fit? He was like, yeah, there's plenty of room. There's not. He did say he's got one and his is on level five, so it's all right. Right, let's see if I can find this gym. I don't understand. I have no idea. If this is right, I think the shop's on level three. So it's the pure gym on level three. Okay, can't get in that door. Right, apparently, next door to HMV. Oh, try this set of stairs, see if I can get in this way. <laughs> no. This door's locked as well. How do I get into this place? <laughs> Maybe I can't at this time. No, because it says the gym is open 24 hours a day. Rope walk, this is the right shopping centre. I can't get in. Oh, hang on. Pure gym. Well, there it is. Let's see if we can get in. Yes, there's a separate entrance here. Gym done, shower done. I'm gonna go and find somewhere to park up now for some breakfast. Oh, I hate this. Every single one I go under, I get a little scrape. Oh no, I didn't get a scrape on that one. I've just parked up here in the corner at a pub car park. I'm gonna sort out breakfast, I think. This is the insanity inside the van. <laughs> oh, nightmare. So, you can see my mattress pretty much takes up the whole of the, um, the whole of the van. It doesn't really fit in either between the wheel arches, but it's okay. Um, this is some more insulation stuff. And then with me, I've just got my solar charger and my battery. And then I've got like all my cooking stuff there. Electronics, clothes, and here is food. Oh, actually, it's mainly drink in this one. And then in the front for fresh stuff, more insulation. I just have this little Halfords fridge that I plug into my um, cigarette lighter when I'm, when I'm driving. And I just store. It's just got like some veg and stuff in there at the moment. I do want to straighten my hair. I should have taken my straighteners into the gym with me because they do take a lot of power. See, so look, whoa, output 300. Gotta do it quick. <laughs>
not sure how I feel about cooking on the floor <laughs> in a pub car park, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I'm having mushrooms and spinach and a bagel with like a tofu and pea spread that I made at home. I froze it before I came so that it would, uh, it would last. Ah, oh, it's too hot. Ah. got no like water set up in the van so to clean I'm just using my bottles I've brought out five bottles of water which doesn't get things very clean but it'll do it's only vegetables it's not like I'm cooking meat in it or anything sink but I'm not using it. Breakfast all done. These things back in the fridge. I can't wait till this van is converted. <laughs> Be so much better. Oh. I can never put this pan back together. rich monkey but I can just you've got to get it at just the right angle ah there we go sorted all right it's a few days later and you may notice that the van looks a little bit different later on that day I met up with my mate and we um insulated the van look we took the bulkhead out which is so much better I feel so much safer now that I can climb through into the front I always like to be able to climb through if you if I need to for any reason you know not have to get out of my van and get into the front to drive away I like that uh, so yeah we took the bulkhead out we put um like I'll try and stick some pictures on the screen because I did take lots of pictures put some, like some sound proof deadening thing on the walls and the ceiling and then stuffed it all with sheep's wool and then we also i say we i didn't do that much of it to be honest um also put down the floor as well which is incredible because of the mattress taking up all of the space but i can't believe it we just got it all done in it was probably like five four or five hours or something i'm so thankful to have someone who knows what they're doing helping me with this it's amazing we also actually put down down here you can see we put some wires coming from the battery the car battery like under the floor there down to the back where my electrics are going to be the van conversion has started very excited i'm going to end this one here i'm actually about to get ready to go back out in the van today because it is like i say a couple of days later now uh, but yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye